The federal government announced that uh, they're going to be injecting about $471 million uh, into the, the Toronto real estate market uh, to help for new builds. Uh, in, in actuality, there's going to be about 12,000 units going to be built in the next three years. So the question I got from a lot of people is, how is this going to affect the, uh, the real estate market here uh, in Toronto? So let's be honest, uh, the last number of years, we've had a supply problem. And that's, you can tell that's why we had when the interest rates were dropped so low, the market went crazy. We still have that problem. We're still only producing properties now uh, the same amount that we were producing maybe 25 years ago at the same rate. And since then, we've had a huge influx of the amount of people uh, coming into Canada. Over 500 million people come into Canada, I think, this past couple of years. And roughly about one third stay in the GTA. These people needed a place to live. So, you know, the, the 13 or 12,000 units of which they're going to be in the next, th are going to be built the next uh, few years is going to help those looking for, uh, the idea is to help them looking for rental units. But the overall, overall properties, it's not helping. You know, we need less red tape here in Toronto. We need more properties built. We just need a lot more inventory. And yes, it's a step in the right direction, I guess, for rental properties, but for resale and for sales, I would say no. And the other problem is most of the builders that are building here in Toronto are building condos because they can make more money based on density. We need more other projects. We need more townhomes. We need more detached homes. We need more semi-detached homes. We just need a lot more inventory. So it does help in somewhat, yes, but in reality for the overall resale market, I would say no, it doesn't help too much.